your new heads of house are Nelly and Anita. Nelita. Yeah, but for him to not just say it based off how he understood it, it's just it's upsetting at the very least. Really painful. I just I just feel like I was just thrown under the bus like it was a deliberate sabotage Jonathan. It doesn't feel good, it doesn't look good, it doesn't sound good. I'm loving this new method of eight to eight ballot system whereby housemates can campaign for votes, you know lobby for votes form alliance i love it so much like i love 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 it just the normal way in every election you know candidates come out and give their manifesto promise what they are going to do for their citizens and stuff like that that is exactly what is playing out in the big brother house housemates have opportunity to campaign for votes and it's worked guys nelita won the hoh for the week with whooping eight votes it means a total of 16 housemates voted for them to win as the hoh nobody has ever come close oh my days i am so so excited for them look at how housemate voted chatoya voted for nelita better nelita nelita voted for mbadi way twin double k voted for nelita mbadi way twin voted for nelita flourish voted for zimwe Radicals voted for checkers. Wani and X Nandi voted for Nelita. Zimwe voted for Flourish. Trees Nelita. Checkers Nelita. Aces Nelita. Guys, did you notice that Zimwe and Flourish voted themselves? These people are very close in the house. And the way they are so loyal to each other, hey, it choke. Chiwe really wants to be the head of house. She campaigned last week and did not get it because obviously they did not want her to go and enjoy the privacy with her boyfriend. But one person is still very loyal to Chiwe, which is flourish them. See the way they keep voting for each other back to back. I love that. I love that. If not for anything, they are loyal to each other, okay? And the friendship is not one-sided. But congratulations to Nelita. And when we were ask them to choose, you know, their guests for the week, I was like, not just me, even the housemate were expecting them to choose the aces, obviously, which is Suj and Tofa. Suj is close to Nelly, Why Tofa is close to Anita. We are expecting they were going to choose them. But lo and behold, baby girl said, no, no, no. Evil bitches for life. <laughs> and she chose checkers. I'm like, what? Even Oyeka was so surprised. She said, you know, I cannot cuddle you at night. Oh. <laughs> she chose checkers. And I love it so much. You know, girl's power. Anytime, any day. And even the checkers voted for them. Okay. So it makes sense. And. I love the energy in the house. Everybody is having fun. For those that want to have fun, some people are still squeezing face. People like Ruthie. Guys, oh, Biggie is not beating Ruthie this week. The two persons Ruthie seem to have the most issue with are actually winning this week. Wani and X and D won custodian yesterday. Big Brother showed us her face and she was obviously not happy. Today also, the little won the HOH and baby girl was not happy. Biggie, why did you show us that face now? Why did they cast this big? <laughs> Wahala. Moving on, guys. Am I the only one that heard Chinwe capping this morning? Baby girl is claiming that the whole question Ebuka asked her about all the things she said about Zion when they were fighting was a lie. Ebuka was trying to put her under the balls. Ebuka was trying to sabotage her. Ebuka would have just, you know, used a word in verbatim. It did not look good. It did not feel good. It did not do this one. It did not feel that one. So basically, Chinwe is trying to tell Zion that all the thing Ebuka said was a lie. That Ebuka was just trying to, you know, sabotage her. <laughs> hey, hey, auntie, when you were vexing and vomiting all sort of things about Zion, you did not remember. 
able to ask you your exact same words and you are saying she's he's trying to sabotage you. How? Chinwe is still trying to blame everybody. She's still trying to blame her man for their fight. Still trying to blame Ebuka. <laughs> Without wanting to take responsibility for her actions and for the things she has said. Omo, um, I am wild. Ebuka is trying to sabotage you. Like, how? Omo, um, eh? I they see character for Big Brother House. This Chinwe's own is on another level. Instead of her to just apologize to her man, I said all those things out of anger. Which is understandable. You are here trying to like <laughs> lie and sugarcoat all the things you said. Which one is it? Ebuka is trying to create a narrative. For who? Ebuka is trying to sabotage you. Under what under what circumstance? At this point, whatever has happened should happen. In short, I'll pack my bag well so that if anything happens, I go home. I'm not being strategic. If I was being strategic, was yes, I was trying to get closer to the mayor, which paid out. Which paid off. Auntie Delulu has confirmed to us that she actually used mayor in order to gain immunity. Even when your next time they mentioned it yesterday during their fight, that all of a sudden they started showering the boy in love because they weren't custodian. And she even confirmed it. I don't have a strategy, but the only strategy I had was just to use the boy and it worked for her. Can you imagine? And she's really regretting the fact that she fought with Wani X Sandy because after their fight, they went in for their custodian challenge and Wani and X Sandy won. She's so scared that by Sunday, <laughs> they might not be saved. Like if they find themselves in bottom four again, <laughs> only God knows. Ruthie says she's going to pack her bags, okay, because she doesn't know anything can happen and she will take whatever she sees, you know, she's unapologetic about what she said to Wanya and X and D, blah, 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 she had tried her best, yes, yeah, some housemates come and they live in the third week and they still remain successful than those that stay to the end of the show, Baby girl just kept saying a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, my, she's so scared. <laughs> For her to say she was going to pack her bag and pack everything and, and await every, anything that might happen on Sunday. Something is telling her that Wanya and X and D <laughs> will not pity them if they find themselves in the chopping block of bottom four on Sunday. <laughs> so, guys, what do you think? I feel bad that this girl is actually using mayo. Like, I feel bad she used mayo. Because they were the least in the bottom four yesterday. So guys, once again, congratulations to Nelita. I can't wait to see our soft babes, our soft queens, soft life gangs rule the house. I know it's going to be a peaceful one because Nelly and Anita seem to be very easy going, right? I wish them all the best. What do you think about this new HOH, you know, ballot? system for me i think i'm loving it so guys so have an amazing day and thank you for watching do well to subscribe comment down below